when was the decision made to go into gaming? I think it was made sometime in 2016, 2017. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was... Specifically Cebu as uh, uh, the landmark, the, the first, uh, uh, shall I say, outlet or casino. Uh, that's right, because I, I think at that point in time, there were already four integrated resorts in Manila, mm -hmm. and uh, there were probably around seven or eight integrated resort licenses in Clark. Mm -hmm. So I think the natural choice outside of, I guess, Metro Manila and mm -hmm. Clark would be Cebu. Mm -hmm. So when you made the decision in 2016, was that... How did that come about? Was it your vision? Did you have to sell it to the board, to JG Summit? Because, well, gaming is, um, how should I say? Not, it's not for everybody. Yeah. It's not a business for, for everyone. Yeah. I think when the uh, four integrated resort licenses in Manila were granted, were granted uh -huh. we were actually also offered. But at that time, we were not ready and then as time went by uh, we we of course uh, noted that places like Singapore issued two licenses no? when so when Singapore uh, uh, mm -hmm. issued these two licenses it opened our mind to the possibility of going into gaming mm -hmm. and then in 2016 2017 uh, when there was an opportunity to to open an integrated resort here in Cebu, we grabbed the opportunity. And to answer your question, uh, I needed to secure the approval of Lance. Uh, you know, Lance is the, the person who approved this project, so he should get all the credit for, for having the foresight to approve, to approve this project. You should get the credit for proposing it. <laughs> Okay, I get, I get part of the credit. 